Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld, and, um, excuse me, sorry, I have a little bit of a cold that I'm getting over, so I might sound a little, like, froggy or whatever. Um, we have just loaded up the shuttle. Delta-1 is coming back to the mothership with some resources. Um, we're deconstructing some things here. We're moving some resources into our dropship. We've kind of remodeled it a little bit to make it work out a little better for us. And then um, we're actually going to have it come join the mothership. And for now, just like we have like Priya's original ship attached to the ship, we'll probably go ahead and attach this ship to the mothership some way as well. Um, just so it all counts as one ship. Uh, and we don't have to worry about managing heat capacity and all that other stuff between multiple ships for now. Um, we are working on another engine. I think, I know it's like lopsided looking, but I think we'll get this one complete and then we'll work on this area up here. So like this area should be crafting, research, all that fun stuff. This will be our first spinal weapon um, and some additional weaponry. Uh, and batteries for the mothership. Uh, I just want to make sure that we stay fast enough to like outrun any fights that we don't want to fight right now. And then, um, and then I think we'll be fine. Just trying to keep us alive for the moment. Uh, anyhow, let's see. It looks like Delta is still on his way home. And then I'm just going to watch these guys load this ship up and then we'll have them take off. Okay, I think we're finally ready for launch, so let's go ahead and launch this ship, and we are launching you right, oh, let's turn this on. Okay, so we line up the blue with the doors, so that'll be that. Okay, you guys are taking off, and let's get you guys home as well right there okay if we take a look here you guys can all hibernate um let's do that for now what are you doing don't don't walk out of the ship <laughs> um zones let's uh let's do area one max you guys are gonna be in area one uh I don't know if you would like what would happen if you wandered out of the ship. We have the ship open to space because as part of this drop ship, we'll get rid of all this storage in here, but we're going to build some vehicles. And so we need vehicles to be able to just like walk out. Um, for whatever reason, during my testing, the garage doors just like keep imploding in space. Uh, we can rebuild them and then just after a certain amount of time, they just get destroyed again. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, or how to fix it. So we're just leaving this guy open. It seems to not impact our mechs at all um, while we're taking off and landing. So the last thing that we can do... Oh, is this a derelict ship? Uh, interesting. Let's go ahead and abandon and not deal with any more like random tribal raids down there while we're trying to set up this ship. Um... Speed-wise, let's take a look. And this will change a little bit once we get this other ship attached to it. But ship info, 3.96. Um, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, when it comes to steel, we're bringing some with us. We have tons of plasteel and components. Uh, let's go ahead and start working on this structure up here. Um, I guess let's do the interior section first. Because uh, until we get all this crafting and stuff set up, uh, we have a bunch of pawns that will not have anything to do. We'll just have them, like, hibernating, I guess. So I definitely want to get us back to researching and back to construction. So let's do that. We'll do that. And let's grab some airlocks here and here. And hopefully... Uh, we don't run into any ships while we're in the middle of constructing all this because it'll all be considered, like, uh, debris and we won't be able to, like, escape with that on our map.
Okay, we have a shield up, and we have this figured out. I think I want to build the spinal weapon first, and then the rest of the weapons in this area, then we'll start working on research and crafting stuff. Uh, so spinal weapon, We're, we've been going in on the lasers, because the lasers are strong, but it does require us to get into close range, um, which is fine, because we're a pretty fast ship, so we will go with a spinal laser as well um let's see we have it here i want to push it out just a little bit so we'll do that and then we need to build all the middle segments the amplifiers and once that's complete we will uh floor off the rest of this and then it looks like we're filling it with guns and capacitors Okay, our first ship battle with our spinal weapon uh, set to go. Let's go ahead and we'll unforbid those. We are building more advanced salvage bays up here, so that should give us some more capacity for salvaging. Um, we might remove them from this ship so that we can make room for other things. Uh, let's go ahead and we will advance. Let's select all our guns. Uh, it is selecting the capacitor as well. And we're going to see if we can maybe get like a beam just carving the ship in half. <laughs> I know I keep like mentioning that I want to see that, but I really do want to see that. Okay, they are firing some torpedoes instantly. We are gaining on them pretty quickly. Their heat capacity is 16,000. Ours is 155,000. Um, I think we're probably going to be just fine it is a pretty cool looking ship though i do like this design um with like the extensions here for docking and their little spinal weapon as well uh it looks like they're heavily equipped with lasers also so they're kind of using their primary weapons are the same ones that we're using okay we're within range um our, our weapons firing let's go ahead and hit maintain and let's take a look at this. They're also firing their weapons. Uh, our heat, it's just like a blip. Ooh, lift. Oh, no, it's the lift turtle. Um, where was he? Oh. oh, we didn't turn our shields on. <laughs> oh, no. That's ridiculous. We're going to we're gonna reload. We're going to call that a mulligan because I have cold brain right now and uh, I I can pay better attention than that yeah so of course our heat capacity wasn't going up we only had like one of our mini shields on let's go ahead and turn shields on let's advance let's select guns uh, we'll target the middle again and then uh, our shields up our shields up shields are up okay uh, why are we fidgeting about power issues? What's going on with you? You are connected to all the things. Oh, maybe because we just like reloaded the game, so everything's trying to figure out like what it's connected to. Okay, let's maintain. Let's have a look at this, and let's hope Lift Turtle does not die this time. Okay, we pop their shield. We've exposed their bridge. And apparently we've destroyed all the things. So let's go ahead and let's take a look here. We're very low on steel, so I guess we will focus on that. I don't think we're going to be able to grab all of it, but 4,000 steel is pretty nice world we can just like grab this guy and abandon it there's also these satellites damaged satellites view quest information uh please found a damaged satellite in nearby orbit unfortunately the orbit's decaying okay it'll decay it's gonna fall to the planet in 30 days i guess these are just like quest sites like if we were on the world we could go investigate them and see what kind of like treasure they have we could probably do that. Maybe we send just our squad of sub-personas. Um, just have a look. Let's go ahead. I guess Delta-1, you've been an experienced pilot. The rest of you guys, can you board? 
and I guess we'll take a look and see what we find at these damaged satellites. Okay, all this stuff is getting constructed. We need to like move all these resources up there. It'll be tedious, but organized than what we've been doing, which is just like shoving things in empty rooms. So that'll be good. Pawns, infection soap. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of you. Um, yeah. Okay, let's launch. Let's check this satellite out. Land and center, land and damage, and choose landing spot. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, speed three. It's still quite a flight. And I assume that it's going to have to generate the map, so we'll come back once that happens. Oh, actually, it happens so quick. Oh, wow. Okay, so we can just land wherever. Uh, I guess let's just, like, land right there. Um, a satellite core. Uh, can you guys come in here? What can you guys do with this? Repair? And... Uh, Critical failure. Oh, okay. So that didn't go so well. I guess we'll check out the other one. And we'll just do the same thing. Let's go ahead and just like choose a landing spot when we get there. Okay, same deal. And I'm wondering if it's going to be a critical failure again because these guys are bad at construction and bad at crafting so we might need to bring someone over that has like expertise the next time we do one of these yeah okay well we will we'll bring priya over maybe because she is pretty good at construction um you go ahead and board also and i guess let's get you guys back home um let's land right there we have a new spot Okay, still making some pretty good progress on the ship. Uh, we have encountered another ship battle. This one seems pretty tiny, not too scared of it. Um, let's go ahead and raise our shields. We'll advance. Let's grab all our guns. Set force target. Their bridge is probably like right there. And we'll see how this goes. Oh no, we are... We have some things that I think are considered debris on the map that aren't connected to the ship. Uh, maybe some of these things that were like in flight building, so our engines aren't all firing. Uh, they have lasers, so they're going to want to get into close range, but they also have spinal rail guns, so this might be a little iffy um, without us being able to close the distance if they decide that they're just going to like, okay. Okay, all we're, we're gaining on them. Uh, whatever it was that wasn't connected to the ship is now connected to the ship, so all our guns or all our engines are firing. They have turned around, so they're trying to get away from us. As soon as they get into range, we're going to go ahead and hit maintain. Uh, amplifier's 20. It's firing. Okay, let's take a look at this. Just like... Even on the slowest speed, this just happens so fast. Oh, all these explosions. I don't even know why things are blowing up like that. That's pretty wild. Uh, we do have our new salvage bays up here. We've removed the salvage bays down here, so we've doubled our capacity, I think, for being able to salvage stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and let's grab all these. And then I think... Last steel and then steel. Sure, that seems pretty good. And then we can just grab this and hit J to get rid of it. Okay, that's definitely, we're definitely going to be able to make lots of ship progress with that. Um, oh man, we have a lot of ship to build, but um, I think think what I want to do is maybe start working on one of these sides 
Um, we could do one of these sides. That'll increase heat capacity and get us another spinal weapon. Um, I've been trying to connect the front part of the ship to the back part of the ship with quarters and whatnot, so I might actually do that. Maybe just like this internal part, and then we can stand up the shields here, do the same thing over here, and get rid of this temporary shield that we put down there. I think that's good. I'm wondering, do we have other things to investigate? Vent, begin venting coolant from heat sinks. All shields, weapons, and cloaks on this heat network will shut down. Um, Imperial Scutum class Corvette. So we've detected a ship, and then we also have two trade ships. I'm not too worried about those right now. Hey, this is a really cool looking ship. Um, it's got multiple spinal weapons. Uh, we have one. It looks like it is probably pretty quick. And that's someone at the front door. Hold on just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Let's see. Um, so I'm taking the opportunity to put in solar panels where we haven't been able to put in kind of like hull corners. Uh, so we're doing that. Uh, and then I've been grabbing everyone to put in Priya's ship, the Horizon. I guess it's still called the Horizon. We should probably rename it at some point. Um, the, uh, all our pawns and mechanoids. Uh, so no one gets like burned up in the engines or anything. I think we are in a good spot. So let's see. Shields are up. Let's go ahead and advance. Let's grab our weapons and... I'm concerned about these guns. That being said, we have been filling out this section and this section of our ship, so we, we are up to 254,600 heat capacity. So um, hopefully that's enough. We probably need to beef up our weaponry. We do have a ton of laser turrets up here now, though. Um, let's see. They are launching missiles. And we are gaining on them pretty fast. Uh, ship, we can go ahead and set to maintain. And we are firing. So let's see, their spinal weapons. Ooh, their spinal weapons got us pretty good. Almost half our heat capacity, a third of it. And we are firing at the wrong end of them. We're firing at their backside. Um, so those weapons are going to be working for a little while. That being said, our spinal gun is still firing. Um, and we probably took out, like, their power generation, right? Um, they do have ship capacitors, though, so they'll probably be able to do another barrage. Missiles coming in. And we are... Our heat capacity is still going up. We'll speed things up again to get our next barrage. And let's take a look at this. Okay, we are halfway through our heat capacity. And we are just tearing up the back of their ship. They are at capacity, so they might skip a round of firing. Um, when's our spinal weapon get to go? Okay, our spinal weapon is ready. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, shield came back up. And they're firing a barrage. I'm thinking that this is probably their bridge. So let's retarget that. It seems like we can fire from the front now. Yeah, look at that. There is their bridge. Maybe computer core here. Uh, shields, not computer core. Uh, we haven't won the fight, so they have a computer core in here somewhere. And they are firing missiles again. We are maintaining heat pretty well. Where do we want to go about firing? Where would their computer core be? Like, this was recreation, this, let's maybe go for 
here. We'll take a look at that. So we are firing once again. Large. Oh, we don't have enough power to fire. Um, okay. Okay, so we need to beef up our our power supplies. We do intend to have um, more reactors uh, in these sections as well as a bunch more capacitors. So maybe that's what we focus on. Uh, rice plant has died because of cold. Um, they are... I don't think their shields are going to be able to be raised again. They're actually these shields are up right now. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Okay, yeah, their computer core is right there, so that's where we need to be firing if we're able to fire. I wonder, do we do we turn the engines up to overdrive too? Maybe turn you on. I know that that's going to cause some problems. But we need to fill those capacitors in order to finish this battle. Not enough. Yeah, so we're getting like one laser off at a time. Spinal cannot fire. Not enough power. Okay, what if we set all of our other weapons to hold fire? Uh, and that way, that way we can have, um, hopefully build enough charge for our spinal weapon to go off. Energy stored to fire, 432, power needed, grid excess. Okay, are we having issues with this stuff? No, we're fine, except we now have a fire here. Yeah, so... Let's turn these back down to one. Um, are you guys going to put the fire out is the question? You are. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we need to ramp up our capacitor game like pretty hardcore. The other thing is these take uh, power from our capacitors whenever we use them. Uh, so we need to be more strategic about like what we're looting and how we're looting it. Uh, well, if we use the disassemble option, I wonder if we just like move the wreck to our map and deconstructed it, if that would be a lot less energy. Energy to fire, 432. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let's grab you guys and we'll say not to hold fire. Let's see if we can get get some shots off yeah just one again um do the if we try to do a boarding party do they have weapons that could take us out there are 38 pawns here boarding party would be super risky um okay i think I think we just have to, I think we just have to deal with it. Uh, let's turn these up and then let's expand the zone that they're allowed in. Expand horizon so that if there are additional fires, they're going to go put them out. Um, okay. Yeah, it's getting it's getting warm. It's getting dicey. Their heat capacity is going back down. Ours is not. Okay, I think we might have to do a boarding party. Um, this one's fueled. Why are you not fueled? Uh, oh, we probably need to make some uranium fuel pods. Ooh, okay. Delta one, board as pilot. Everyone else board as passenger we'll see what we can do i think if we can land oh they are they're out of power they are out of power 
we might not have to do anything. We destroyed their power and they can't fire on us anymore. Um, okay, everyone cancel. Uh, pawns. Let's go ahead and unload. Uh, let's do Bill's fuel pods. Do until 500. And we'll resume at 450. And then we should also probably just do the pipe network thing, right? Is it storage for the uranium? Yeah, so uranium fuel pipe. Um, we have it all the way down here. We're going to have to run it all the way up there. So we'll do that at some point. I think what we'll do is we'll hold fire. Can we just say hold fire from here? No, we can't. Well, I guess we don't need to hold fire. We can just whenever we get power just shoot at them oh <laughs> uh okay i don't know if that's gonna get the core but even without power it's strange to me that like the ship battle is still happening like they like once this ship core is is gone basically anything that could control the ship um then we'll win the ship battle but you know this it doesn't have power, so it's kind of silly to me. I, I think if, like, the bridge or any other thing that can, like, pilot the ship, if there's nothing that can pilot the ship with power, I think that should be a, uh, a victory. So, okay. I think this is just a waiting game now for us to, like, store enough power to be able to finish that. Um, it's not too exciting, but... Um... <laughs> we will we'll come back when this is more interesting actually i think we're running out of time so this might be it for today um i think what i'll do with this since we're running so low on power is instead of doing the auto disassemble option we'll bring this over um so we have these options to move the rack to our map and then we can just have like our astromechs go ahead and like deconstruct all the things so that should not be a problem. Thanks for hanging out today with me, you guys. Thanks for dealing me with me being a little bit sick and a little loopy from being sick. Um, I'm going to go rest up, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. So, as always, until next time, have a good one. Bye.